It's a lot of trailers. You know, this is not, you know, in big cities, there's like apartment buildings and places like that. You know, a lot of people live in trailers. There's people that live in campers, you know. If a storm comes up, they don't have a, they don't stand a chance. You know, they need somewhere to go. In the city of Childersburg, a storm shelter located near downtown has fallen into disrepair after being vandalized. And many people who live nearby say they didn't even know it was there. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is working for you to learn about the efforts underway to make sure people have access to shelter when they need it. We have a basement, but everybody doesn't have a basement and they need somewhere safe to go. When severe weather is on the radar, the question at hand where is my safe place? But for some people in Childersburg, they don't have that answer. I don't know of any place around here that people would go if there was a tornado. There are several mobile homes in Coosa Court. I would just have to go underneath my house, which is not a storm shelter, but there is access. None of my neighbors have that, but I set up higher. So that's the only place I could go, really, or just getting, I don't even have a bathtub. <laughs> no place. A football field distance away from that neighborhood sits this storm shelter, which could hold 60 people. But right now it's no longer accessible. We have more than once or twice caught people in it at night. We've called the cops out here to people in it, different, doing different things. And it just being open to anybody at any time was a bad thing. It was vandalized and trashed. The fire department is tasked with refurbishing it. The chief says the hope is to have it open back up by the end of next week. I didn't know it was there and I live, I've lived here this long. Um, there's no posted signs in case of any emergency. When reopened, that would no longer be the case. Signage will be added in addition to security cameras and lighting. The door will also stay locked. Only certain city officials will have the ability to unlock it, which will only be done if there's a tornado watch or warning. It would be nice to actually know some place to go that you wouldn't have to get in your car and drive and take a chance of running through the tornado. City leaders are also trying to secure funding to get two more storm shelters, one in the north side and one in the south side. They would be larger and hold more people. I think if they have a couple more, that more people would be apt to use them. In Childersburg, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News. According to the fire chief, the next closest FEMA certified safe room is 11 miles away at Lay Lake Volunteer Fire Department's Community Storm Shelter, or nine miles away at the town of Oak Grove, a Volunteer Fire Department's Community Shelter.